And if celestial events are kind of your thing, there's another very rare one you can check out this week. So we're talking about the Sioux Chin Shan Atlas Comet. And some New Mexicans have already gotten a great glimpse of it, but if you haven't, the next few days may be your only chance. Our Feliz Romero spoke to the Rio Rancho Astronomical Society to find out why this is really a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah, Tessa, Trevor, the next time this comet could be visible is in 80,000 years. Lori Wells is the president of the Rio Rancho Astronomical Society. She says an observatory in China discovered the comet along with a telescope in South Africa. But all New Mexicans need to see the rare marvel is a big clear sky. Lori Wells has been passionate about the sky for years. We are all excited about getting people interested in looking at the sky, so it's been a good time for us. The president of the Rio Rancho Astronomical Society says this new comet appearing above our horizon is a once in a lifetime experience. As it leaves the, the interstellar system, this time it's never coming back. It's going to escape the sun entirely. So I would say that's very rare. <laughs> We won't see it again. This week, New Mexicans can see the Su Chinchin Atlas Comet with a naked eye. Sunset is the best time to observe it. It's, uh, it's in the western sky. It's very helpful if you have a very clear western horizon. She says the best way to find it is with an app. I have Stellarium Plus, but I think you can get just the plain Stellarium. The app does all the tracking for you. Venus is a very bright object, one of the brightest objects in the sky. It'll be visible just as soon as the sun goes down. This is Arcturus. It's a very bright red star. Right in between them is the comet. And for those who aren't as tech savvy, there's always the Rainbow Park Observatory in Rio Rancho. We're planning on opening again Thursday night. We'll probably set up a little before sunset, so between 6 and 6.30, and then we will be there until the comet sets, which will be sometime after 8. While this comet is a one and done opportunity, Wells says there are other astronomical events in our future. There's another comet that is predicted to be sun grazing, so it may be destroyed by the sun. But if it isn't destroyed by the sun, it should be fairly bright also, and that's later this year. Now, one thing that she did mention was a clear sky is yes. honestly the only way yeah. you're going to see it. And she said on Thursday, there's actually a full moon, which can actually hinder the visibility. But once hmm. the full moon passes, it mm -hmm. should be, you know, better.